Queens have layers. Ogles have layers. <laughs> you get it. We both have layers. <laughs> that was the worst. Scottish accent anyone could have done. Why am I holding my shoulders? <laughs> okay, enough. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this really, really warm look that I have on my eyes and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. I got home the other day to an absolutely awesome package. My mum texted me, you've got a parcel here. I was like, I haven't ordered anything. I'm too skint to order anything. And then I got home and it was this little paint pot and it has my username on the top of it and then it says ready to get artistic this was a complete surprise i did not know how i was getting this and i was oh my gosh overjoyed and in it it had their whole new range of brushes and it also had these little gems and these are the new Vivid Brights cream colours. I have used two of the shades that they sent me and these are absolutely stunning. I used Bad Blood and I also used Light Show. Light Show is a gold colour and this, oh my god, it's beautiful. Nothing happened. And then Bad Blood is a very red toned brown. It's like a maroon red. And these two go so well together, especially when you mix them in the middle. All opinions that I express in this video about the products are my own opinions. If you're new here, please do not forget to click the button down below and subscribe to my channel. It means so, so much to me when you do subscribe. It's unreal to me that we are now near 5,000 subscribers. Because at the start of this year, I wasn't even at 1,000. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And as always, please do leave a comment down below so if you would like to see how I got this look that is on my eyes right now then keep on watching the video so we're not going to mess around with neutral transition shades with this look we're going straight in with this canary yellow shade from the NYX ultimate brights palette and building this color through the socket of her eye using the Kiko 56 brush creating left and right motions and circling the brush upwards towards the brow bone to distribute the color if you would like to see just how similar this palette is to the urban decay full spectrum palette then definitely watch my last video where I compare the two now taking this lemon zest yellow shade from the same NYX palette, we're just going to repeat the exact same process that we did with the first yellow shade, but on a smaller blending brush. I'm using the NYX number 17 brush from their original line of brushes. This colour is a lot more orange on the skin than it looks in the pan, but it's going to really help warm up and intensify the crease colours. From the Morphe 35OM palette, take the burnt orange shade from the bottom right of the palette on the same NYX 17 brush and focus this colour in the crease using windscreen wipe motions. You don't have to smoke this colour up towards the brow bone as we want the yellow tones underneath to still be visible and to create a sunset gradient. Pull that colour from the inner corners to the outer corners, it won't look too dark and overpowering as it'll just complement the natural shadows of your crease. Pack the NYX Vivid Brights cream colour in Bad Blood onto a packing brush. I'm using the NYX 30 brush from their new Pro Artist brush range and I'm packing this shade onto the outer half of my lid. If you're not used to cream products, I would definitely recommend picking this up in small amounts at a time and gradually building up the colour as cream products can get a little clumpy. I found the consistency of each of the cream colours to be different and this red shade was a lot more firm and needed a more harsh hand to pick up the product, but this will ensure that you don't grab too much product. I wore this look all day and the specific colour did not budge from my eyes. It dried down to a nice matte suede type consistency and the pigmentation in the product is exactly how it looks in the jar. It's completely opaque. Take a blending brush and smudge out the edges of this cream colour. I was really, really surprised that my brush didn't get stuck to the product as it wasn't tacky in the slightest. And from using it in this instance, I found that once it was heated up slightly from the motions of the brush, it became really durable and blended out nicely. Once your cream product is applied, we're going to take a deep caramel shade from the Morphe 35OM palette on a smaller blending brush. This is the NYX 32 from their new brush range and run this through the outer portion of the crease to add some depth to the crease and make the eye look a little more three dimensional. Adding a darker colour than the red will make the outer half of the lid look as though it's protruding and therefore draw attention to it as it is a lighter shade and lighter always stands out. For the same reason, take an even darker brown, I'm using a warm toned chocolate brown from the 35OM palette and applying this to the outermost corner of my eye with patting motions on a Kiko pencil brush. Then I'm going to blend this out with a fluffy brush so that we have no harsh lines. 
Now for the best colour, yay! Take the Vivid Brights Cream Colour in Light Show, which is their only metallic shade with a bunch, I believe, and apply this to the inner half of your lid on a flat brush. This is the new NYX 33 brush. If you'd like it more precise like I do, these products are opaque enough for you to carve out your crease without initially applying a concealer or a paint pot. So just use the edges of the brush through your natural socket and it'll create a sharp carved edge. This shade is definitely more creamy and is easier to pick up from the jar. I did find it to crack along my crease area ever so slightly throughout the day, but that's only noticeable if you're really, really looking for it and I was checking it like an obsessed woman so that I could feed back to you guys. But the staying power was also amazing on this one and I have used the Maybelline Colour Tattoos and these are honestly so much better, they are in a different league. To mix the red and the gold together, take the remaining product from the brush that you applied the red with and just pat this on top. Tuck slightly at the skin in between the gold and the red shades and it'll gradually mix the shades together nicely. Now for the lower lash line, mimic all of the powder colours that you used on your upper lid. So first the canary yellow shade followed by the lemon zest shade on top. Both of these shades are from the NYX Brights palette and just smooth these out along the lower lash line. Follow these two yellow shades by the Burnt Orange shade from the 35OM palette and smooth this one down your lower lid as well. The outer corner will effortlessly blend with the upper lid this way. On a more precise packing brush, this is the NYX number 28. Use the caramel shade from the 35OM palette and apply this colour to the lash line to define your lashes and thicken their appearance. Followed by the warm toned chocolate brown on the NYX 29 brush, just along the outer lower lid to elongate the eye shape slightly. Now create a thick wing, it doesn't need to be thick but that's just what I've done here using your favourite liner. I'm just using the NYX Mousse Liner in black and just using my lip pencil brush to apply the product as everyone knows that this is my favourite brush for eyeliner. Start from the outermost corner of your eye and with the side of the lip brush create a line in the direction of the tip of your eyebrow. Also release pressure towards the tip of the line. Once you're happy with this, from the point of the wing create a line heading towards the centre of your lash line and this should create a clean triangle shape which you then need to fill in with black gel liner. And then then you can draw a thin line along the entire lash line. Cut your lashes with mascara, I'm using the Doll Eyes Mascara by NYX and I actually really like this one as it doesn't apply too much product so I can build up my lashes as I want. Then I'm applying the NYX Wicked Lashes in Corrupt and then you are all done. enjoyed it if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below it'd be lovely to have you within my little youtuber channel family thing and as always remember to leave that comment down below so we can have a little chat and hopefully I will see you in my next video